Back in the 80s, I was watching an episode of Bloopers and Practical Jokes, and Dick Clark told the story of how, in the days before the teleprompter was invented, they would use a booth announcer and an earpiece to convey information to the on-camera talent. And the talent's job was to repeat everything the booth announcer said right after they said it. I thought, you're kidding me, that's impossible. And then Dick did it. And from that moment on, I was hooked. I said, I've got to learn how to do this. This is an amazing skill. So I started the next day and I've gotten really good at it over the years. And I think it's why I'm really good at reading along to scratch tracks. So let me show you how it works. Joining me today from her hidden lair is someone you may recognize from her regular appearances on Saturday Night Live, living legend, Denise Ashland. Let's pause for a moment while I insert uproarious applause. Denise! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jeff Bell. How are you? I'm good. And nice of you to join me today for this experiment. I assume because you have TV experience, you've used an actual teleprompter? Um, I have, I have, I have. Is it? Is it difficult? Do you find it difficult? Um, I actually find it easier than memorizing things. <laughs> yeah, I, I have the working memory of a goldfish. Zero memorization for me, so I understand yeah. completely. It would yeah. be diff m much more difficult for me to memorize. So I explained to you the premise of the before we had teleprompters, how they did it with the, the man speaking in your ear. And today, you and I are going to be the man in the ear. So we are going to try. Yes. Denise and I met briefly about a year ago when we were married in a radio commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my fake husband. <laughs> Somehow we've remained friends and to date my favorite ex-wife. So anyway, uh, that's how this all came to be. <laughs> and so Denise offered to join me for this and she is going to be my teleprompter. And here's the deal. I have no idea what she's about to say to me. And when I used to do this for fun, I would dial up radio commercials or whatever and just try to follow along. So I have no idea what's coming, and I'm just going to try and keep up. Okay, so Jeff. So when you're ready, yeah. Jeff, 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 stop for a second. I just ran out of storage on my phone. Okay. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Hold on. We're back. <laughs> and we're back after a momentary glitch in the system. We are prepared <laughs> to show you the audio teleprompter of your dreams. Today with me, Denise Ashland. I am Jeff Bell. Let us begin when you're ready, Denise. Okay. This is episode one this of is Just episode Being one Jeff. Of Just Being Jeff. Yeah, I know yeah. I look like a rocker. I look like a rocker. A pretty cool cat man. But I'm a pretty cool cat man. But that doesn't mean I don't have mad skills. But that doesn't mean I don't have mad skills. That's skills with a Z. That skills with a Z. For the Z kids out there. For the kids out there. And oh, I help sell trucks. My f***ing phone just stopped. Are you joking? <laughs> this is oh, no. not my life. This is episode one this of is Just episode Being Jeff. This is episode one of Just Being Jeff. Yeah, I know I look like yeah, a rocker. I know I look like a rocker. A pretty cool cat, a pretty man. Pretty cool cat, man. But that doesn't mean I don't have mad skills. But it doesn't mean I don't have mad skills. That skills with a Z. That skills with a Z. For the kids out there. For the kids out there. And I help sell trucks. A lot. And I help of sell trucks. trucks. A lot of trucks. <laughs> Ford. <laughs> Ford. <laughs> I like to share my pro tips and tricks. I like to share my pro tips and tricks. Cause selfies just ain't my style, dog. Cause selfies just ain't my style, dog. So follow along on my wild ride. So follow along on my wild ride. And I'll drop some knowledge your way. And I'll drop some knowledge your way. This is Jeff Bell, over and out. This is Jeff Bell, over and out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was well fun done, and Jeff weird. Bell. It'll be even more fun <laughs> when I cut it together and I hear myself saying weird stuff. So, let me ask you, are you ready that... to try one yourself? Oh, okay. Short, a okay, short one. Okay, I got a short, I got a little <laughs> poem here we're going to try. So, uh, see, okay. and I'm, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna slow down. I'm gonna keep going so you can really try and keep up. Okay, you ready? Okay. Here we go. I'm ready. I am a dog, and you are a I flower. I am a dog, and I you are a flower. I lift up my leg and give you a shower. 
and give you a shower. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. You got to stay with it as it keeps rolling. And uh, you really I can. Like it. You really can just put the words in your ram and send them away. And it just kind of in the ear, out the mouth, <laughs> in the ear, out the mouth. And you can keep going for days. You want to try again? I got a longer one. <laughs> let's try. I got a joke. Yeah, here. Let's okay, go. here we go. A pirate walks into a bar with a steering a wheel on his pants. A pirate walks into a bar with a steering wheel on his pants. A pants. And a parrot on a his peg shoulder. Leg and a parrot on his shoulder. The bartender says, "Hey, you've got the a steering wheel says, on your pants." Hey, you got a steering wheel the on your pants. The pirate says, "Arr, I know." The pirate says, "It's driving Arr, me nuts." I know. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was it can most be excellent. Done. <laughs> <laughs> so Arr. I want you to think of this next time you're working an actual teleprompter on TV. <laughs> I'll probably throw you off. <laughs> <laughs> I, will. I will do that. <laughs> well, it was really fun. Thanks for joining me for this. Oh, it was super fun, Jeff Bell. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> so that's the basic premise of the teleprompter gag, and it's a great way to practice wherever you are, anywhere that there's a, there's audio being delivered, you can sort of follow along. I used to do it a lot in my car, and you may not want to start learning it in your cars. It really does split out your brain a little bit. But, uh, you know, when you're driving along, you can hit those radio spots at 20, 35, and and 50 and always have some words to work with you know in the beginning you're going to probably cop the entire delivery and follow along and sort of ape the entire delivery of whoever's reading but with time you'll be able to separate out and just borrow the words and add your own delivery and your own unique twist to it using just the words that you're hearing and, and separating it out in your brain so give it a try let me know what you think